Here I'm going to show you how to set up an Xcode project with GLUT, C, and OpenGL. So I'm going to go over to Xcode. <clears throat> and I'm going to make a new project. And I'm going to choose Cocoa Application. And I'll just save it as uh, my template. And immediately we can sort of start deleting a bunch of stuff here and get rid of all of these. So we're basically left with um, our uh, plist files and our main.m. And uh, I'm just going to rename this to main.c. And I'm going to add uh, some new frameworks here. I'm going to go to add existing frameworks. And I'll first add glut. Now I'll add OpenGL. And I'm going to come in here and delete this. And I'm going to paste in a basic C program that uh, includes GLUT and OpenGL and just uh, set up to draw 2D. It's working, it just draws circles with the mouse. And uh, this 2D template file is pretty straightforward. There are a couple things worth noting here. Um, we have these variables hanging around for mouse location, width, and height of the screen. Uh, a function called init that you can run once in the beginning of your program. A function called render where the drawing is done. You need to make sure to leave, uh, leave that in. function for resizing, uh, where we basically do our 2D setup and uh, keep track of the width and height of the screen. We also erase uh, the screen here, which you may not want to do if you're uh, trying to create weird effects. I left in uh, the ability to easily hide the cursor um, to go into full screen if you want. To see how that looks. Um, this one has uh, anti-aliasing turned on for uh, points, and it also has alpha turned on. Uh, and again, this one is really set up for uh, 2D only. If you wanted to do some 3D stuff, you would need to do a few adjustments. <clears throat> um, it's actually really easy to create a, a command line based uh, C tool with GLUT. Um, you just make a, a new, new command line based tool and uh, add GLUT and OpenGL. Uh, the thing is you don't get uh, all the settings for an, a .app file um, and you don't get all the, the P and the, uh, the P lists and all that stuff so I can come in here and I can add um, you know, add resources to Xcode and uh, create uh, an icon for my application. And uh, I guess in the meantime, we can get rid of that and get rid of that, even though it doesn't really seem to hurt anything when you publish. Um, so this, what this thing is compiling to, just 
find it in here. Is just a straight up application. You could, it's only 25k. You could send this to somebody or you know, make it downloadable, and it would uh, work on a Mac. Um, I believe this is set to compile for uh, OS X 10.5 or 10.6, and you can change that in the settings if you know what you're doing in Xcode. Um, I guess if you if you're just learning OpenGL, um, there are a couple things to note. One is that there is a really good book um, called uh, the OpenGL Red Book. It's pretty famous. Um, maybe, maybe it's a little bit outdated, uh, but it's it's still worth checking out. And uh, I found over here that you can, it's online, and I'll put this link in the actual blog post. Um, but here's a program from you know, the OpenGL Red Book, and uh, it it almost works. You just have to make uh, a quick change to the includes in order to get this program to work and this this program is just uh, showing a few things it's showing some some basic lighting um, and it shows uh, this helpful little function called glut solid sphere which does all the work for you if you wanted to have a sphere so we don't actually need any of these headers so I'm going to uh, just copy the functions, and I'll come over to my template, and I'm going to keep um, uh, these headers. A note that I just I put in the math header so that I have uh, some basic math functionality, and I put in the standard library header. Uh, in this case, I'm only using uh, the constant from that exit success in my main function instead of just saying zero. I prefer to say exit success. But there's all kinds of good stuff in uh, standard lib. There it is. So I just copy and pasted. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I needed to be aware of was that the headers uh, on a Mac are slightly different. Um, and you could, you know, then make the sphere rotate and uh, do whatever you want to it. A lot of good examples in this book. And I'll, again, I'll put this link uh, online. Uh, of course, I recommend that you actually get a hard copy of the book um, instead of just this online version. And let's see, I think that's pretty much it. I think I'll set up a uh, 3D template over the next couple of days. Uh, I guess this is one thing worth noting here. Um, in my render function in the template, I left uh, GL clear commented out. And this is again, this is only clearing for 2D. You would need to do it a little differently if you wanted to clear for 3D. Um, if I put that in there and run it, and see it, it just erases uh, or clears the screen every time. Uh, it may not be obvious on this demo, but I also put in um, this little snippet uh, that I found through some Googling. Uh, the first time I ever compiled an OpenGL program on the Mac, I noticed that, uh, and it was just a, one of the Red Book demos, I noticed that there was some tearing happening. And it's uh, more obvious on, on 3D uh, examples, but you see some tearing happening. And I dug around and found this uh, little bit of code to do some VBL syncing, which basically makes sure that each frame draws in full before the next frame starts drawing so you don't get uh, any tearing. And the, the, the trade-off is that it's a little bit uh, slower. Um, but, uh, I mean, you can't usually ex have tearing on your um, projects. It just looks terrible. So it's, an, it's a nice trade-off. 